Hi everybody, this is Luke with thegoodcause.com. I just wanted to give some background as, as to why we decided to create a goodcause.com. And it starts with my family. Over 12 years ago, my wife, um, her previous husband, passed away. And he really passed away as a hero. He was up in the mountains, his truck slid down the hill and knocked him out. Um, he had this son, this is Braxton, he had him with him, and uh, he was just little, littler than this one, and uh, anyway, um, he woke up and uh, carried Braxton all the way over the mountain and down the hill until he found a, uh, a home and where he was able to get some help. Uh, Two nights later, he died in his sleep due to internal bleeding, but uh, truly died as a hero. At that time, she was left with one, two, three, four, five kids. So she was a single mom with five kids. And um, what happened was amazing. People from all over uh, helped donate to her because she had... Uh, no, no formal education, and uh, people donated to her, uh, directly to her, and was able to give her enough money so that she could get on her feet and and do what she needed to do to pay for her bills until she was able to get a job. A couple years later, we, we met uh, with some mutual acquaintances, and I brought... Uh, one, two, three kids with me from a divorce and uh, that, that stay with me all the time. And uh, together we had a <laughs> miracle child. Um, that uh, So we have it's uh, hers, mine, and ours. And, and then uh, the oldest is now married and they're expecting in uh, February 2020 so really super excited about that but since that time my wife has always donated to people when they have different causes she said that it, as long as she once she could afford it she wanted to be able to donate to other people and to give back as people did to her I was touched by her story and then um, about Two and a half years ago, I got to see generosity even at a closer ordeal. Uh, the same woman, my dear sweet wife, who's a miracle woman, um, one late night, she was out in the family room um, watching TV, and I was getting ready for bed, and she called me from her cell phone, <laughs> which I thought was a little weird. Um, and she said, I can't move my legs. So I rushed out to her, and, and she couldn't. She thought that maybe she would just been laying wrong or and tweak something. And so she said, let's just, let me sleep here for the night, and we'll see how I feel in the morning. And probably the dumbest thing I ever did is to go through the night. But we did. So I brought her out a blanket and pillow, and I brought myself a blanket and pillow, and I laid on the ground next to her, and um, in the morning, she still couldn't move her legs, and so this son and I lifted her and carried her out to the car and took her to the emergency room, where uh, she stayed at the hospital then for the next uh, several months. Um, to make a long story short, they they found out that she has what's called a Chiari malformation, uh, which means that there is a part of her brain tissue that was um, pushing against her spinal cord, had protruded and was pen, uh, pushing against her spinal cord, which was making it so that her brain wasn't communicating to the bottom half of her body. Um, and... Uh, she had uh, attempted surgery once, almost died because they collapsed her lungs, and she couldn't breathe. Um, that was super scary. She almost died on the operating table. And then the next surgery was a success, but because um, she went so long, uh, 
and uh, the brain fluid going through the spinal cord um, couldn't communicate to her legs. She had to learn to re-walk again, which is you, sounds weird, but it's true. Um, but during that time, there was just so much generosity provided for our family. Um, I was lucky enough that I could work from the hospital, so I stayed at the hospital with her 24-7. And her dear parents came and helped take care of the kids. Uh, a neighbor built a ramp because we didn't know how long she would be in a wheelchair. Built a, a wheelchair ramp for her and painted it her favorite color. Um, people came and, and took our kids places that they needed to go and because they were much younger than they looked in this picture. And uh, people's generosity just was amazing to me. Uh, a good friend would bring me food to the hospital because he knew I didn't have food there and and uh, he would bring me lunch every day and come to visit and many others came to visit and lots of prayers were offered in her behalf um, I think we traced it at one point that uh, she was being prayed for from every continent on the on the earth and uh, she's definitely a miracle girl um, this picture is from Hawaii uh, just uh, Last year we went to Hawaii and uh, she walked two miles into the bamboo forest and two miles out and that was the furthest that she had ever gone and uh, now she does stairs and just walks everywhere and without a problem um, and she's just a miracle and I was just fascinated by everybody's generosity and kindness and uh, I knew that I wanted to take part in something like that. And she mentioned her story to me about how so many people helped her uh, years before. And uh, so I started finding uh, ways that we could build a fundraising platform that would be better than anything out there that's newer, fresher, um, more in, in what we need today. And with the absolute lowest fees possible. Um, and so our fees are the lowest fees in the industry at a goodcause.com. We we have the highest payout. So lowest fees equals highest payout. We've partnered with a security company, a renowned worldwide security company, to make sure that our website is secure. And as I've looked at our competitors, I've seen several of them. Uh, that have been hacked. I've seen several of them that do not have a third-party security company scanning their server, scanning their site, making sure that they're protected from malware and vulnerabilities and hackers and um, and that sort of thing. And additionally, we have a large insurance to help protect as well. Um, so we've done really what we can to make sure that ours is the most secure, we offer the highest payout, and it's not about me, right? It's about what we can do for other people. It's about what we can do to give back. So it's fundraising with a heart. You know, what can we do? We help medical problems, schools, teams, clubs, memorials, funerals sort of things, charities, and really any other good worthy cause that's out there we want to help and we want to bless people's families and we want to give more back to the cause and to the individuals that are going through what I've experienced as real live emergencies real live problems we've been so fortunate to be able to help so many others and we just want to help as many as we can a good cause dot com. Thank you.